G'day folks, Alex from Full Motion Adventures. We are down here at the Great Divide Tours driver training property and we're doing some testing on the Frontline Full Motion Camper. At the same time, the lads from Frontline have brought down something special for us to check out by way of a Toyota Hi Ace with a special magic adventure button. Tim, this is Tim Heritage from Frontline. He's the big boss man there to tell us all about it, mate. What do we have here? So Alex, what we've got here, Toyota Hi Ace, um, typically a rear wheel drive vehicle. Um, this particular one, we've developed a rear differential e-locker. We did that uh, with Harrop. Um, gives us that off-road ability. We've had a good play with it today. What are your thoughts? <laughs> we certainly have had a play with it, I can tell you. This thing has gone everywhere the full motion has gone and it's done it comfortably and in some cases I might say it's done a little bit better. I'm not sure if that's because it's a long, it's a wider wheelbase, whatever it is, but maybe it was the driver, I don't know. But I've got to say it was it handled really well. Um, and the 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 rear diff lock makes a massive difference. Right? Massive difference. Um, we've played in uh, ruts yep. and we've seen the difference with the rear diff activated and not activated. Uh, we've been up and down hills, we've been through some bog holes. Um, and we've also done a rocky river crossing and it certainly gives you that confidence uh, and I think you know most people typically are going to go to these places go to campsites I guess and, and you might have to go 10 meters 20 meters to get to this magic spot and I think this is going to make a difference this is a game changer in my opinion um, and, and I know you guys have been around a long time you know frontline over 30 years yeah, so Frontline, Frontline Camper Vans, we've been going for 35 years. 35, yeah. Um, historically, over those years, always working on the Toyota Hi Ace and the Volkswagen Transporter. Um, family owned business, always in Sydney, over 4,000 vehicles. So, this Toyota Hi Ace we've got on display. It's got a gas cooker, fridge, kitchen, amenities as you would expect. This can be off grid with solar. Um, all the real essential camper uh, camper needs and requirements. So you got everything including the kitchen sink is what you're saying? <laughs> Literally the kitchen sink, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what, mate, what I also really like is the space you've got in the vehicle. There's plenty yeah. of space underneath to carry gear, mm. which is really important. Uh, I like the way the front uh, seat, uh, seat swivels around, which is really good, I guess, for uh, if it's, you know, if the weather's bad and you want to sit inside. Uh, or it's night time and the midges are out. Now you've got some uh, fly screens and things like that around. Are there accessories that you can add or? Yeah, that's yeah. right, Alex. We've got, um, so we've got fly screens for both of our doors. We've got a really good full elevating pop top roof. A lot of headroom, a lot of ventilation in there, big fly screen windows. Um, so the beauty of this is it's a smaller vehicle. However, it does feel roomy and spacious and, and airy. Um, a little bit wider than, than the Volkswagen, so the bed does really feel really spacious and roomy. Mm. Okay, now you've got some off-road tyres on this vehicle, which I found uh, really helped a lot. And I think it's, you know, you've really got to decide, I guess, as a customer, where you're going to take your adventure machine. And I think that's, you know, from what I understand, you guys have those conversations with people. And if you're interested in something like this, you know, you really got to have that discussion on where you're going to go, how long you're going to go for, just so that you can get the right build, and and, um, and I think that's something you guys do well. Yeah, absolutely. When when a client comes into any of our showrooms, um, we've got three showrooms uh, along the east coast: uh, Sydney, Melbourne, and Ballina. We kind of really speak with the, with the client. We really want to work out where you're going to go, what you need. Uh, we certainly don't want to be selling something that's got every sort of bell and whistle on. If you're going to be in a caravan park. Um, you're going to need lesser batteries, probably not solar, versus something kitted like this. Um, it's got the off-road tyres, wheels, diff lock, gas cooking. Um, this can be off-grid for a week, um, but that's not what everyone needs. So yeah, it is really important to have those discussions. Yeah, well, I think that's that's you know that's sensible, and um, you know people like. Or may or may not like departing with their money, but you know, for me, if I'm going to depart with my money, I want to make sure I get what I want. And it's great to know that you're working with people to give them what they want, uh, which is really good. One thing I do like about your campers, in particular, is the the roof configuration, how it pops up evenly, and it gives you a lot of uh, even room up there, headroom. Uh, what's the go with the design there? Yeah, that that design, it's our design. Um, we we reckon that works for our conditions. Uh, it's 
Australian built, designed for Australian conditions. We reckon we've got more airflow in there, we've got a lot of headroom, and we've got five different layouts. So although this particular layout, that's our most popular, that's not everyone's layout. If we've got a layout that's got a walk through, uh, you might be walking towards the back of the vehicle and being able to have that full headroom there um, is really important. We've got great options with additional beds in the roof, so it can be a full, um, full family vehicle as well. Yeah, on the bed, I must say, I really like the fact that the bed is, you've got a lot of space to move in the back of the vehicle. You know, I'm a tosser and turner, mm. uh, and uh, Olga, well, she's out so when she sleeps, so that's fine. But with, for me, I like tossing and turning, and, and I find I've got to sleep in one position. Mm. So having that little bit of extra room, I think will make a difference. Um, so that's really good to see. Uh, it's great you've taken it in consideration. And they all the same width in both the both ranges of vehicles? Uh, slightly wider in the high ace. It is a wider vehicle, sure. uh, therefore it lends itself to the wider bed. Five different layouts, so we've got twin singles, we've got um, a single bed setup uh, geared for a sole traveller. This one's our four-seater, which converts then into a bed. This is very popular for that regard. It's yep. a dual-purpose vehicle, seatbelts in the back. Um, but yeah, many different ranges and, and options that we can have a chat about and, and work out what's, what's suitable. And I think that's a real key, what's suitable and, and what's going to work for you. That's great, Tim. Right, well, in summary, I've got to say that we are very impressed with the high ace. It's gone everywhere the four motion has gone today. Uh, you know, it, it really has performed fantastic. I have to say though that I, I think in some instances like sand, mud, snow, that the four motion will probably behave a bit better. And that's just because the four motion system is designed, uh, its system is really, really good. Mm -hmm. uh, not to say that this isn't, but this is a, a two wheel drive vehicle with a rear diff lock. Uh, but I, so I guess it's important that if you're interested in something like this, that you have those conversations with, with Tim and the team. Uh, Tim, you know, what's your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely, Alex. We um, we really want uh, we want you to come in. We want to have good discussions uh, where you want to go, where you think you want to go, uh, your history, if you do have a loyalty to one brand or the other. Um, but most importantly, where you want to go. We want to have a chat about where this will go, what it'll do, um, and what it won't do as well, but also where the Volkswagen will go and how those different models work. And as you said, it's a, it's a very different system. This is two-wheel drive purely, um, whereas the, the Volkswagen, as we know, is an all-wheel drive, four driven wheels. It is a different beast. Yeah. And you look, we're happy to have uh, you know, some of your customers come down to the driver training property here and, and have a crack at you know, learning how to get the best out of the vehicle. Not, not only knowing where to go, but where perhaps they can't go, mm. uh, like happened to us a bit before. <laughs> uh, so, we, you know, we're, we're more than happy to do that. And uh, you've got all our details back at the ranch, so... Uh... Yeah, absolutely. We've, um, we've been down here today having a great time. You can see evident of the vehicle <laughs> that we've had a great time. So we'll definitely be back and, um, and we'll certainly pass on the information to all our, all our clients. That's great. Uh, I think we'll be pretty commonplace here. No, we'd appreciate that. I, I've got to say, mate, I've, I've watched the first 35 years now. <laughs> this is the first generation, and I think I'm really excited about the next generation, another 35 plus. Who knows what the future is? That's Could right. Could there be a CEO here? We never know the luck. Anyway, mate, thanks very much for your time. Thanks, appreciate Alex. you bringing the vehicles down. Take Thank care, you. guys.